If you have been following my Instagram, you may or may not be aware that I have been doing a modeling kit. Um, this is my thoughts, voiceover, whatever you want to call it, of the process. So originally I started, as you can see here, just kind of starting at the beginning of the book, uh, which was to paint um, the pieces uh, of the like architectural part of the house. Um, the reason I I got this miniature, this was a gift for me for my birthday, um, and I got it because I, I don't know, I was in spotlight getting stuff for my birthday party, um, and I saw them and I was like, that would be a really cool project, and so a good friend of mine bought it for me. Um, there was issues, I don't have a, like a stand for my phone or a camera to properly record so I have blue tacked and at the beginning was using a like a pe novelty pencil um, to record uh, the time lapses. Um, this is me, like I said, I started off going bit by bit which I realised was going to mean I had thousands of pieces just scattered all over my house um, and with uni going back that was just not great. So the first few things I did were like pieces like component pieces uh, which included a uh, bar and uh, what I'm making right now is the bar stools I had a lot of difficulty with the like getting the bending probably because the instructions call for you to use needle nose pliers and I don't have them so I was using scissors I also had difficulties actually getting the glue to glue quickly um, and that meant I had to like lean it up against stuff and it's a bit wonky which you will find in the house, uh, in the cafe, it's very wonky all over the place and then I made the shelf um, again. Uh, I then changed uh, courses, I decided that I would do the architectural part and do the components individually and glue them as I went, I felt that would be much less um, of a mess and just stuff lying around the house. Um, again you can see the pencil that I was using to prop my phone up. Um, I found with the glass bits, um, I didn't realise this until after, but the glass bits they had a recommendation of how you should cut it i did not follow this so it's a little bit dodgy i the instructions weren't 100 percent clear and um i think i'll know for the next pack i'll know a lot better of what to do and what to follow the same with the fabric although there wasn't as much fabric as i thought there was going to be so i have heaps of fabric left over um this is me constructing this is the entrance way uh and Cutting out those little squares was a nightmare. It was such a pain to do. Even though I had my blade, my blade is now completely dull. I had to pick up for my studies this semester new blades because I dulled them. I should have been using a cutting mat as well, especially at my desk. Um, it's got so many cuts in it and there are parts where I'm using like just the notepad back when really I should have just walked upstairs to the cupboard and uh gotten my cutting mat because i do have one um that was probably that was sheer laziness this bit is so fascinating to me and at the end you will see um off screen i fixed it because i did have issues but i with i managed to do electrical wiring i've never done this before this was so new to me and there was lots of testing of trying to get it to work. So as I was gluing it in and getting the roof component right, I needed to also make sure that the wiring was right and that I was getting it before I heated it um, with the with the lighter, um, the heat shrink. Because once I was there, I was at heat shrink and it was the end. Um, so I finished the house at this point. Um, and really I was just now trying to get in all of the components so I would just step by step as I, I wrote down a list of what needed to go in and just worked on it a little bit little bit there were four steps that I had um, 
and I just worked on it and glued it in as I went and that way I can just it was like easier step and again no mess um yeah uh change of scenery uh I needed a bit more working space um this day and one of the more light compared to my desk which is in the other corner where it's dark um this was definitely the preferable place to work um even though i ended up going back to my desk at the end and that's just because here i was listening to music at my desk i tended to be watching things which also meant that i was not distracted and basically yeah as you can see i'm putting together the little shelf that i made at the beginning i noticed so on the coffee bags it says like mocha americano latte which i think is really funny i'm an avid ca uh, coffee drinker if you drink lots of coffee you will know those are how you make a coffee not types of coffee beans so i thought it was freaking hilarious that um these bags of coffee beans were being labeled after ways to make coffees i drink mochas if you want to know these getting these components done particularly the flowers and the bonsai as they were called in the instructions was so difficult for me um if you don't know i have lupus uh which means i have also developed rheumatoid arthritis the de dexterity in my hands is a little shockingly poor it's painful when i do stuff like this and i think working on a project like this really helped my dexterity um especially the flowers um here is some interim shots as you can see there's some really small pieces and this is when i announced on instagram what i was actually making um because i originally i was going to keep it a secret up until i finished the whole thing but i thought it would be f and fun um next time i'm gonna do it again a little bit of guessing and then release part way through uh what i'm what it is i'm making probably again when i finish maybe half of it um i don't know let me know what you think uh but yeah back at my desk as i as you can see here i'm making one of the plants and those flowers in particular i couldn't get the glue to work my hands weren't working it was so frustrating and i wanted I wanted to throw the tantrum well, not really but um the flowers in this whole project were the most difficult thing i had to do which is probably a bit sounds a bit silly but it was like the tiniest paper and i had to wrap them and i that and bending wires because my hands don't bend wires um i'm finally finishing up this is the last step here before i finish and it was mostly just putting together a piano and a table and then finishing up and then at the end i actually went back and i re-glued on some of the vines because they'd fallen off as i'd been modeling the project and moving it around so I, you can see that i've glued and this is the finished product i actually went back in like i said and redid the wiring it failed when i put it all in together with the batteries even though i tested it um, and I put extra grass that wasn't in the instructions along the outside of the thing. Those are the vines I was talking about that I added more to to just give it a different aesthetic. And this is Simon's Coffee Cafe. I am so proud of how it turned out. There is lots of errors. You can see the chair is slanty, same with the bar, bar stools. For a first project, it's really good though. I'm so proud that I was able to do this. And yeah, it took about 34 and a half hours for me to complete. And I'm just so proud with the results and I cannot wait to start the next one. Yes, I have the next one and I have one coming in the mail. And I'm just so, yeah, I'm excited to do the next one. But I don't know when that's going to be because of uni starting up next week. I'm going to be packed busy. But I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this little miniature model.